Hey, this is Eric Ferris again. Today we're going to show you the unboxing of the new Gigabyte H55M-USB3 motherboard. Follow along. Alright, starting off when we open the box, we can see that right off the bat on the top that we have the manuals, the driver CD, and the accessories, including the rear I.O. plate. A multilingual installation guide, which means that if you don't even don't speak English, there's still an installation guide. As far as accessories go, that seems to be about it. So what we get is we get a single IDE, we get a single SATA, we get the rear I.O., the guide that shows you all the installation drivers, the installation guide, and a couple other things, including the Smart 6, which explains some of the stuff about the motherboard, and a multilingual installation guidebook. That's the accessories. Now let's move on to the motherboard itself. Okay, as you can see right off the bat, some mini ITX motherboard. It's very small, we'll split into many of the smaller cases. Set the board down. You'll see there are two PCI slots for your video and then two of the older standard PCI slots. On this motherboard, there is actually not one PCI 1X slot, which is kind of strange, but it's just not available on this board. You've got four slots for your memory, You've got your 24 power pin connector. You've also got two slots here for your IDE. Then you have your ZIF socket here. Spin the board around. You have only a, another single eight pin power connector here on the board over here. This is so that there's enough power to actually power the onboard video that's on the board. Also looking down here, you can see all of the SATA ports are located all together so that you have, don't have cables spread out across the board. These are all your cables for your motherboard. These are the ones from your case that connect to this that actually make the board power up. As you can see, this board supports Dolby Home Theater, which means it has 7.1 surround sound for those people wanting to use their computer for either watching movies or an HTPC. Then let's take a look at the rear I.O. This I.O. is very, very fleshed out. It has DVI, VGA, DisplayPort, HDMI. It's also got seven channel audio that also has an SPDIF for those of you who have digital speakers. It also features the new USB 3.0 and SATA 3.0. And one thing great about these sockets right here, they do two purposes. They not only work for the USB, they also work for the SATA. They're dual connectors. Gigabyte's one of the very first people to have this feature come out and it's a really good feature. So here once again we'll just take an overall look at the board. And as you can see, it's pretty fully featured and it's a really nice board. Follow along as we show you the full review of this motherboard.